So in the United States, if you want to wish somebody good luck, one of the things that you can do is say, hey, I've got my fingers crossed for you. But apparently, if you do this in Vietnam and you point at that person, you are calling them a in today's video, I'm revealing 10 hand gestures that you may not know are offensive. So I went to the University of Texas, picked up my MBA, and I remember in 2005 when we won the national championship behind Vince Young, great team, and I learned how to do the hook'em horns. Now, for anyone that's a huge metal fan, you also know these are the devil horns and they mean rock on. Now, what you may not know is this is also known as the Corna. And in the 1980s, we had a number of Texas Longhorn fans who were arrested in Italy. Why? They thought they were doing the hook'em horns. But apparently, they were telling all the Italians around them that I am sleeping with your wife. Now, according to my research, what I read, this sign is also offensive over in Mexico, Portugal, Spain, France, Greece, Brazil. But I would love to hear from you guys from around the world as I'm going through these signs. Are any of these offensive in your culture, in your country? Let me know down in the comments. Next up, we've got the dog call. So you put your hand out here, you have your index finger extended, and you're telling that person to come here. And you're basically treating them like an animal. Now, what's funny is I've seen many adults use this with their kids. I don't think I've ever used this, but I have seen people use it. And apparently, over in the Philippines, this is a very bad thing. You're equating that person to an animal, telling them, come here. So, for this next one, I'm going to share with you a family photo. This is a picture my wife took of my baby daughter, Ariana. I just absolutely love this photo. It's a great family photo. But all of a sudden, my wife looked at it and she's like, look at the hand gesture. I didn't notice anything, but apparently, this hand gesture right here is known as the fig. The fig or the monofico is apparently very offensive in Slavic and Turkish cultures. Makes sense. I'm married to a Ukrainian. So, it has origins in ancient Rome and was apparently used by the male head of the family to ward off evil spirits. It was also supposed to represent sexual union, basically copulation. It was all about fertility with the Romans. Nowadays, you would use this if you wanted to rudely deny a request. So, if somebody asks for something, you can basically give them the fig. So, getting back to that picture of my daughter, what I like to think is she's saying, you know what? I don't want my picture taken. Next up, we've got the AOK. -okay. Now, in the United States, this means that everything is fine. But apparently, over in Brazil, this is used to represent the asshole and it's basically calling you one. So, I think the most interesting story about this is apparently, there was a high school that reprinted all of its yearbooks because a lot of students were doing the A-OK, -okay, which was found to be offensive. This cost that school $54,000. It's also important to note that this gesture has become associated with extremists. Next up, we've got the matzah. Speak to the hand. Apparently, over in Greece, this is just as offensive as the middle finger in the United States. This gesture is often accompanied by the words, here, there you go, take these. And apparently, it's even more offensive when both hands are out and you basically smack them against each other. Next up, we've got the forks, which I've used many times in my videos, not meaning to be offensive, but apparently, I was. So, apparently, over in England and Australia and New Zealand, this can be equivalent to the middle finger. So, if you're walking into an Irish pub and you order two beers, make sure to ask for it like this. So, this next offensive hand gesture comes out of the Caribbean and Middle East. And apparently, you take your left hand, you put your fingers together like this, you've got the five points, you take your right hand, the right index finger, and you go in right here. And you're basically telling that person, you have five fathers. Now, why is having five fathers an insult? Because when you think about it, that would actually be pretty darn cool. A lot of advantages there. But apparently, what they're saying to you is that your mom, was promiscuous. I don't know about you, but if somebody insults my mama, I'm going to take my shoe off and throw my shoe at them, which is another insult that if you're in that part of the world, know that that is not a good thing to do. So, if you're down in Mexico, over in South America, in a Spanish-speaking country, you need to watch out for the El Tecano. So, apparently, this is when you take your right hand like this, make a fist, you take your left hand and you pat three times on the elbow. Apparently, the elbow is associated with being cheap. So, if somebody calls you an elbow, they're calling you a cheapskate. And now, let's talk about if you're on Xandar or any area controlled by the Nova Corps. Apparently, this right here does actually mean what it pretty much means in the United States, which is F you. So, don't use it unless you want to get tased, bro. So, what video to watch next? How about style mistakes every man needs to stop making? Guys, check out this video right here. Had a lot of fun with it. How many of these mistakes are you making? Find out by watching the video. I will link to it down in the description.